Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will study science, grade 5, chapter number 1, that is the human circulatory system. A man was running for a while and after some time he felt very tired. His breathing became heavy and when he kept his palm on his chest he felt that heart is beating very fast. But after taking rest for some time the heart beats became normal. Why do you think this happened? Yes, your answers could be because he was tired, because he had consumed a lot of energy, because his body needed more oxygen or because heart pumped out more amount of blood to different parts of the body. All these answers are correct. The circulatory system, it is a type of transportation system. What is a transportation system? When we carry certain things from one place to another place through vehicles or any other source. If we send things from one place to another place, it means we transport it. Similarly, in our body, the food we eat, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. All these things must reach different organs of our body so that all the organs perform their functions properly. And this all happens with the help of transportation system that is circulatory system. Let's study about it in detail. So the food we eat goes to our stomach. The water or juices we drink again it goes to our stomach. And the air we breathe goes to our lungs. All these things go inside but we continuously expel out carbon dioxide gas, that's the waste product. So, definition of circulatory system is circulatory system is the organ system that allows circulation and transportation of nutrients and oxygen in the body as well as removal of waste products from the body. The food you eat, the juices, the water you drink, it just goes to your stomach. But it has to be transported. The nutrients we get from that water, juice or food has to reach each and every part of your body. When you breathe in, the air has to reach each and every cell of the body. All these things are circulated and transported through an organ system that is circulatory system. And it, it just doesn't carry the nutrient but it also brings back the waste material and we expel it out from our body.
Which component of air do we breathe in? If you have read the definition shown on the previous slide, you could easily answer this question. Yes, we breathe in oxygen gas. Different parts of circulatory system. Blood, heart and blood vessels. Can you see a network of vessels, blood vessels in human body? It's a huge network. So three parts of circulatory system. First is heart, second blood vessels and third blood. Heart. The heart is a muscular organ. It pumps the blood to different organs through a complex network of blood vessels. So from heart, blood is supplied or carried through blood vessels to the different parts of the body. The blood carries important nutrients and oxygen to different organs. Blood also plays a vital role in removing waste products from these organs. So, blood vessels carry nutrients and oxygen to different organs and they bring back blood vessels but there are different types of blood vessels uh, a type of blood vessel that carries nutrients and oxygen to different organs is different and the types of blood vessels that carry waste products from these organs those are different and that waste product is CO2 Heart. Heart is a fist sized muscular organ. So students you can just close your fist and you can guess the size of your heart. Its function is to pump blood to different organs of the body through blood vessels. So blood vessels are connected to heart and heart pumps blood. Heart is located between the lungs. Heart is protected by the rib cage. That's all for today. For further explanations, you can watch the other videos which will be uploaded soon. Thank you.